Uh, we'll start off looking back to Saturday, Skazi. Um What was what was what? Now you've had time to think about it. Yeah. What what kind of was it like? What was it like involved to be involved and to play? Um, obviously you. You sort of like build it up a little bit yourself, don't you? Because and as a team, like it's a they've come down from the championship, so they're a big team anyway. They've got some like great players and stuff. So it's one of them ones. That, it's a game that you want to play in. Um, but yeah, the atmosphere, everything like that. The press build it up a little bit. So it was just good to go and like shut all that off once we actually got started and, and get the three points. So. You mentioned the atmosphere and the kind of feel around it before game, yeah. um, and especially during the warm up and just before you came out. I think yeah. it's one of the loudest I've heard home park for, yeah. for some time. What that must be quite incredible when you stood there waiting to come out. Yeah, it's really good, especially in the warm up. Like I'll take it in in the warm up and stuff like that, and and like acknowledge it then. But when it comes to a game, sort of you've got to like focus in on what you're doing and what your what your game plan is really. So. You only really notice it when like the when the ball goes like dead or anything like that, or you know, say if you're towards the end where we needed to dig in, and it's like every tackle from the lads, every every clearance from the lads, or every time Coops catches it or it goes out of play, that's when you that's when it gives you that boost. And I think we needed that really to sort of like hang on and get the get the clean sheet in the end. I suppose you probably notice it when you score a goal as well. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, it's a bit of a blur. Like it is, it is a blur. But no, it's a great feeling, and it was it was good to score it at home and get to celebrate in front of the fans. Yeah, uh, some pretty crazy pictures. Yeah. of you, Joe, as well with his yeah, arms out yeah. wide, and and, and Ryan. Um, I certainly won on after the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great pictures. Great yeah, pictures. no, they were great, great pictures, and it was just it was just a good feeling, like. Even looking at Joe's pictures, like it just gives you that buzz feeling of like how happy he is and how, like everyone, like the fans and stuff like that. It's, it's just a great feeling, yeah. A days like Saturday, one of the reasons <coughs> why you, you chose to to come down to Margam. Yeah, hundred percent. Like to get the big crowds in and like uh, the gaffer said, like it's it's two teams that should be probably higher up that are like locking horns and that's what they're, they're the games you want to play and you want to put yourself in and test yourself in those and that's one of the reasons why I come down here for those sort of games yeah and the fans seem to have taken to you quite well as yeah. well don't know whether you noticed <laughs> becoming a bit of a fan's favourite uh, yeah no it's good I suppose if you keep putting the performances that's all I need to do is just stay grounded and uh, work hard and put the performances in. let's talk about you a little bit I think looking back through your career Maybe Wickham aside, you've played most of your football in and around where you're from, yeah. the Midlands, Birmingham yeah. sort of area. So um, coming down here was a was, yeah. you know, a bit of a big move. Yeah. Uh, was there any any doubts about that? No, you know what? Um, when I first heard our goal were interested, I'd spoke to a couple of my mates, as in 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 football, and some of them had said they'd either played under the gaffer or. Um, had a loan spell was like down here and stuff and I'd, I'd spoke to them and they all just said like it's a great move so as soon as I heard it it came about there wasn't really any doubts at all I was sort of thinking you know what this will probably be good I haven't really been away from home so it's a good chance to go and it, there's no distractions just focus on football and yeah and just try and get out of your comfort zone a little bit and hopefully it pays off yeah. <laughs> well so far it has um, with those decisions though, because there's a lot you've got to kind of, I suppose, take into account, like yeah. family and moving yeah. house and stuff like that. Um, you know, how big a decision is it to, to make a move away from, from home? Yeah, um, sounds a bit backwards, but I was all for it. So I sort of made the decision that I, if it was going to be on the cards that I wanted to come here and then I was just going to try and scramble all the rest after and just try and work out what I can do after. but. It's one of them things. I think when when something's right for you, everything falls into place, and it just sort of happens. And touch wood, that's what's happened at the moment. Like, is in like with regards to like house and family and stuff like that. Like, everything sort of gone well. So it's just made everything the transition a little bit easier. Because we were just talking earlier about your dog. Yeah, um, he's yeah, down, yeah, exactly. So he's down. He comes down. But my mom and dad, even this, like my mom and dad. As soon as my mom heard it was we were going to be down in like Plymouth or anything, she's gone and bought a caravan like <laughs> <Is she? laughs> yeah over by like Big Bree and stuff. Right. So 
everything, do you know what I mean? Everything just sort of is made easier and everything's just sort of like fell into place. They've got a little holiday home, so they, can, they come to every home and away game. So it's just, just everything, it's just worked out really. Nice, every day's a holiday. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're only mid 20s, played a lot of games, I think over 100, 100 yeah. league games. Where do you kind of see yourself at the moment as a player? Um, I still think I've got more to give. Um, I don't. I just sort of try and take every game as it comes, really. Um, and coming down here was one of like a stepping stone in a lot of the right direction as well, because there's more experienced players here. You come up against more experienced players, so I always want to try and learn and get better. And the coaching staff here are like really good, so everything's gearing towards the direction that I want to go really so I just want to just keep learning and trying to get better myself yeah and see where it takes me what was it like when you when you when you joined Birmingham as well yeah well it was about four years four yeah, five yeah. years ago you know as a Birmingham yeah. fan what what was that experience like that was that was a bit surreal um going from obviously going down and obviously I only played non-league and stuff but I'd go and watch Birmingham when I could um, so if it was like a Tuesday night game, it was non-league, we always played on a Monday for some reason. But So going down to watch them games and then when I first went into training, saying hello to them all or having them text me when I'd signed, that was that was very surreal, the jump from non-league to, to, that, to that, that calibre of player. That was, it took, me, it took me a few days to sort of get my head around that really, like it was like lads I like I support and want them to do well and then suddenly like I was training with them so yeah it was good though like I think I like I learned a lot a lot from there yeah because you know it's a, it's a big club yeah massive, massive supporter club, yeah. base yeah. been in the Premier League really recently as well yeah. so it must have been quite a, although you didn't put you know play as many yeah, games you yeah. would have liked to to be in and around and train yeah. and being with those facilities must have brought yeah. you on quite a lot to play. yeah definitely it, <clears throat> it's sort of hard as in I've always been one of those players that trains my hardest and stuff like that and I always want to play and like, try and force my way into the team sort of thing and obviously that was the only place I've been to where I've never played, understandably so because of the jumping level and stuff like that so I never expected to play but there's some part of me that always wanted to and I think that was that was hard to hard to deal with day in day out of not not getting to that stage but like I learned a lot from there, met some like good people. It was nice to like be at my my hometown and be a part of that and do stuff with the community and everything like that. So no, yeah, I got got a lot out of it. Yeah. Here then, right now, we spoke about Saturday, which was a great day. But the season started really well. I think it's yeah. just four goals in the league. Conceded. Yeah. Two of them on the opening day. So yeah. since then, yeah, it seems to be gelling really well. At that. Yeah, I mean, we all we all work hard in training. We all work hard with our defensive stuff, and we we do a lot on the with the coaches on the the teams that we're playing. So, obviously, our job is to keep clean sheets as much as we can, and or defend the best. And I think we've done I think we've done well in games. And I think not just the back lads. We get a lot of help from the midfield. Um, we get a lot of help from like the two lads up front. They run the socks off and stuff. And sometimes it's a case of their defenders not been able to get a good ball in and it's more of a hit and hope ball in and that's when it's like me and the other lads then to just deal with it basically so yeah it's we, we do a lot of work and it's it's been good it's been a good start but obviously there's a long way to go so we try not to get um like too carried away and just literally take each day as it comes each game as it comes what is it like playing alongside the likes of james <coughs> who's played hundreds and hundreds of games brennan galloway yeah. played in the premier league macca as well as yeah. you know experience out in australia what's it like yeah. playing alongside no it's really good like they you can learn off everyone even the the lads in front but the lads like alongside there who are mainly within training and stuff and like always one of them will i'll say to like willow what, what do you think we should do here or what should we have done in that and he's really good because he's probably been in every situation a hundred times over sort of thing so it's good to sort of like pick his brains and stuff but also when you're playing and training you've just got people around you, you can trust that uh going to be there and going to do their job as well as they can so it just makes your job personally a lot a lot easier yeah are you pally off the <coughs> picture of those lads i mean are you yeah is it like a defensive unit on the team coach or not even not even a defensive unit on the team coach but this is the this is the thing we've come down here that everyone's so pally pally with everyone so it's such a good such a good atmosphere and obviously everyone 
there's a few lads that aren't from here, so everyone's in the same situation as me where they've had to move down. So everyone, like, we meet up, go for food and things like that. But as a defensive unit as well, I get on with everyone there and everyone gets on with each other. There's no, there's that healthy competition between each other, but it's not, it, it's like, it's good healthy competition. So everyone's still, like Pally, everyone jeers each other on in training and stuff like that. Even when we're on opposite teams, like if, if I see Willow do something in training, it's the opposite team to me. I'm screaming at him like, well done Willow. And they do that, it's like vice versa. So it works really well, yeah. Speaking of kind of um, competition, are you <coughs> part of the, the huge Uno scene on the bus? Have you, have you, have you dabbled in that yet? They play for too much money. <laughs> no, no I bring my own cards. So we have like a little, we, there's the main group that play at the back that get rowdy and everything like that. And then there's there's a few of us that have like a separate table that will just play a bit of light hearted fun. We'll play for like coffees, things like that. Right. But these like at the back. Well, Coops Ke was telling me that he's, he's a couple of hundred quid. <laughs> there you go. So you can go there and you know, for me, mentally, that's no good for me before a game. <laughs> I'd be losing my head. Coffee, coffee kills me like, when I have to buy someone a coffee. But no, no, it's good. It's good. Like, passes the time by. Everyone gets involved. Everyone gets like gets on to each other. It's just a good atmosphere, yeah. Just finally, <clears throat> now, I know I'm always told in, in, in any walk of life, don't trust <laughs> Wikipedia pages, but yeah. yours says that you started your career as a right back. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it probably is actually, yeah. I was, I, I played centre mid when I was younger, younger. And then when I moved to like my first like proper team on a Saturday, I did play right back, yeah. Just because the defending bit would, it was good, but I just wanted a bit more. So, <laughs> so I wanted to get going forward, but um, I grew a little bit and then they were like, no, nah, no, nah, come on, you're a, you're a centre back right. now and I just got shoved shoved into the centre. So, so. You, you're, are you ruling out the Joe Edwards right, right wing? 100% that's far too much running for me, yeah. Uh, nowadays I just like to sit in the middle. <laughs> Top stuff, Scarzi. Nice to chat to you. Thank you, you. Like cheers, mate.